All right, Destiny Viper Carbide end mill three fluke. This is running 5100 RPM, 90 inches a minute. This is a high helix uh, aluminum specific end mill, 45 degree helix. And so far I'm loving it. The thing just flies through this like butter. Sticking it in two depth of passes here, so uh, totally inch and a quarter here. That's that. I'll show you what this finished sprocket looks like. I'm making eight of these for a uh, kind of a cool machine made in like Norway or something. It's like a little snowcat and it was built back in like the uh, probably early 80s sometime. The sprockets are pretty rough on it and of course you can't get them anywhere so we'll make them. It's been a while with the CAD system, I'm running uh, Iron CAD Innovate. Took a while, got everything measured up, and imported into Sprute Cam, and here it is. It's been a pretty fun project. Oh, oh there it is. Eleven teeth, nine holes. Couple pockets to do there and a fillet. It's gonna focus. Yeah. So I just take my little carbide deburring tool just around the top edge there. The bottom edge is pretty darn crisp. You can see. The lighting might suck in here. But overall, I'm pretty happy with the surface finish. That that destiny. Viper just does incredible. I think for plastic. This is my first time doing plastic. Still pretty new to the milling game, but pretty darn cool to take something from an idea and have it in your hand. A couple days later, this is the original. I don't know if it's nylon or Teflon or what, but it's rough and way out of spec. And this is one of the best out of the eight that are on the machine. The other ones are half the teeth are sheared off and rotten. You can see the difference thickness between these the meat there so it'll be be way better set up so anyway that's that thanks for watching